All right, welcome back to Parenting Exercises. And I want to emphasize exercises, Cindy, is something you have to practice. Uh, you can't just know it and not do it. And, and continue so, to do it. Yeah, and continue to do it. Yes. So it's a very important that these exercises that we're going to be talking about that you continue doing them. Now, uh, the last one we did was on the foundation of parenting, and it's an incredible exercise there with the marriage and the importance of the marriage. And I want to say uh, that's for the blended families, and it's for uh, you know families that are, are, are just married and have the childrens with have the children within that couple. And so, you know, that exercise is for both of those families. But we also wanted to cover those single parents that are raising children as well, because it's very important uh, that, you know, you understand what you are in and we want to empower you to yes. be great parents. And I guess I want to start off with just saying that, um, you know, in a, many ways as a single parent, uh, you are handicapped and it's going to be harder. Now, I know you don't want to hear that. You're like, oh my God, you know, that's not what I want to hear. But I think, you know, being truthful about where you are at yes. is more important than, you know, us just kind of blowing smoke or, you know, just trying to uh, say, hey, it's going to be easy. You've got this. And we are going to tell you, hey, you got this and you can do this. Yes. But we're not going to tell you it's going to be easy because it's outside the design of the way God intended it. Whatever the reason, whether it was, right. you know, bad decisions, whether it was maybe a loss in your life where you lost your spouse, whatever it was, it's, it is outside of the, the order of how you do things. But I do want to encourage you with this, that as a single parent, um, you need to know it's just like someone being handicapped. Just because they're handicapped does not mean their life is over. Just because they're handicapped does not mean that they can't accomplish the same things that right. someone else can accomplish that's not handicapped. And we have examples of that every day. I love those stories of watching people who are missing arm or missing a leg or even missing both legs. Or, and you watch them how even though they're missing something in their life, they excel. Yes. They excel. And, and I just want to encourage you as a single parent, I know it's going to be harder, but you can excel. And I, I guess the exercise that you need to put in place right here is believing that yeah. God can, can take you. And even though you're operating with something missing, he can take you and he can complete that for you. He can complete that. What they call, uh, if someone's missing a leg, the, the prosthetic. Mm -hmm. So... What you need to know is God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, our Heavenly Father, is your prosthetic. And so you need to use him as your prosthetic. And Cindy, I'll talk about that in a moment. But I, I just want to encourage you guys that you can do this. You just have to believe and you have to have faith and you have to know that it is going to be hard, but it doesn't mean that you can't be successful because you can Amen. And so after you believe, I would say that second thing that you really need to tap into is your relationship with the Lord. I cannot emphasize how important that is because, like you said, yeah. um, a single parent is really handicapped. Um, half of you is there. And so it's so important to tap into your relationship with the Father because He is the one that is going to empower you. He is the one that is going to equip you. And to really be honest, your children will be facing things um, that other children may not be facing because they have maybe a loss of a parent or, you know, your uh, divorce, whichever it may be. Honestly, they will be facing different things. And it is the Lord that is the one that will guide you and direct you and instruct you on how to bring healing to your child. Because a lot of times when a child is hurt or feels insecurity, it affects other areas in their life. But be encouraged. 
God is a God. He is a healing God. He is a loving God. He is a merciful God. And He wants to be there to uh, help you, to empower you, to walk this out so your child can be successful and and just um, an amazing adult. Amen? And so I would say the third thing that is critical is to remain positive. Mm -hmm. Um, So many times we find, and actually we talked in our last video, the importance of security, that a child needs to have security in their life and and that a marriage, there shouldn't be arguing and all of that. And so for you as a single parent, it is so important that you remain positive. You know, not talking negatively um, about the parent, the other parent, um, or the other parent's family, or whatever it may be, you taking the high road, you being blameless and above reproach, and not only does it help the child see something beautiful, but also it brings on the blessings of God, and it shows that you trust the Lord, and even if you're talked bad about, even if things you're done wrong, you are trusting that God at the end of the day is going to cover you and is going to protect you. Amen? Amen. So that is so important, but it's also very important. Now, this is an exercise I want you uh, to practice with your children as a single parent, and that is the fact that you have to be honest with your failures in your life with your kids, and and that's so important because, listen, one of the um, effects of divorce that divorce has on children, there's a lot of different effects it can have. It doesn't right. have to have, That's right. but it can have, is that child will even walk away from the faith because you're preaching one thing and they've seen something different. Mm-hmm. And the marriage is supposed to be an example of Christ in the church, so they've seen something different. The only way to combat that is humility. And right. that humility and that brokenness is being honest with your children. I think you need to be, you know, real honest, uh, even at a young age. We've always talked to our children uh, as I'm talking to you right now. Mm -hmm. They understand more than you realize. And so it's talking to children about saying, hey, you know, this happened in my life. Because look, you know, one of the things that that is, uh, I guess, you're kind of labeled with sometimes or is thrown your way sometimes is you failed in marriage. And so you can sometimes catch that attitude where I'm a failure. No, you, you know, you might have failed in an area, you might have stumbled, but a righteous person gets back up. Yes. They don't just stay there. And so don't walk around defeated. I'm not saying that, but right. I, I am saying you need to be honest and, and forthright and just say, hey, look, if it's a divorce, if you're single because of that, it's saying, uh, or maybe you never got married and you know, you just had a child out of wedlock, whatever it is, I want you to just say that, hey, these are mistakes I made and they were wrong and I've asked God to forgive me and he has forgiven me and we're moving forward. I think it's important because when a child sees that humility and they see that brokenness, then they're also going to see that, wow, okay, well, this is part of faith. This is part of walking out uh, Christ in my life. And we tell you these things, sometimes when you hear things like this, it may kind of put a little fear in you, you know, uneasiness, but that's not our heart at all. Um, we're wanting to bring awareness to you because honestly, think about it. If you have an enemy, the more you know about the enemy, the greater chance you have of defeating the enemy. And so when you're aware of these things, it gives you an arsenal to be able to fight what's coming ahead. And the enemy, I mean, his heart is to steal, kill, and destroy. And so we're just trying to increase your arsenal so you can walk in victory. I think one of the worst things you can do is to not talk about those things, to keep them in the dark, because then the enemy takes them and can really destroy your children and you. And yes. so it's part of your healing as well, where right. you and your children can talk about this without downing someone else, right? That's without right. casting blame on someone else, and but without walking in guilt and condemnation either, mm-hmm. to walk in forgiveness. Uh, to walk in wholeness, uh, to find healing, to empower, you know, being honest with your kid. I, I, I think it's wrong that, you know, when y'all struggling and y'all trying to figure it out, man, it's sitting down your child and saying, hey, look, 
Uh, we are handicapped. This is tough. And I'm not saying it's not hard, but we can figure this out. Going back Amen. to the positive. We can right. figure this out. Right. We're going to work together. And not being afraid to get help. Not being right. afraid to come to a video like this and find out more about what you can do as a single parent. Mm -hmm. Or asking or emailing us uh, with that email, family development, you know, dot .fm and emailing us uh, questions. We're here for you. Cindy's here for you. And so we just want you to know that, man, be honest with your kids. Uh, make sure uh, that you know, you're not hiding things because when you're honest and open and in the light, God's going to use that. What the enemy has meant for evil, God will turn it around for the good. And I guess Amen. the last thing I want to talk about in this session is you know, realize uh, your environment and what you can control and what you can't control. Right. Because, you know, and this goes for, you know, blended families, which we'll deal with later in later videos. But talking to the single parents, you guys, you're going to deal with this same thing where you might have the kids on this week and not have them on the next week or the weekend or however it lays out, however it mm -hmm. works out. And so you have to, as a single parent, uh, not get frustrated by what you don't control. You can only do what you can do, and you can only control the environment that you have authority in. Right. And the only environment that you have authority in is in your home and when you have them. And so, you know, I want to encourage you uh, to concentrate on that. I, I watch so many single parents or blended families even where their concentration is on what they can't control. Mm -hmm. And therefore, they're frustrated and they're angry and they missed out on the opportunity of the present. Yeah. They miss out on the now. They miss out on what they do have. Yes. And because they're worrying about what they can't change and where they're not, quit worrying about that. Don't even worry about that. Pray when you can't go, well, well pray. Just pray and ask God to, to work out things there because that's all you can do. Yeah. And, and, and concentrate where you are at. And when you have your kid, be there. Be there, mm -hmm. be there and work on that and realize just because you're handicapped, it doesn't mean that you can't accomplish. Just because, you know, uh, things might look bad doesn't mean you can't be positive. Right. You know, it, it's it, just because you made mistakes doesn't mean you can't be honest. Uh, all of those things are going to help you uh, to succeed, realizing and being in the now in your parenting uh, you can do this. Uh, Cindy and I are encouraging you as a single parent. Look, be strong. You can do this. Stay in church. You know, stay involved. Uh, get help when you need help. All these things are so important for you as a single parent. And we're going to continue talking about these things and the parenting exercise to follow, where we're hitting intact families, we're hitting blended families, and we're also hitting single parents. And so look, we love you. I hope you enjoyed this session. And we're going to pray that, you know what, let God uh, be whatever it is that's missing. Let God be, what's the word for it? Prosthetic. Let God be your prosthetic. Lean on him and you can do this. All right. Well, God bless you.